Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another Theory Explained video in the world of Alien. In today's video we'll be looking at Alien Romulus and its connections to Alien Covenant, David, and also how Wayland yutani knew everything all along and even built the Renaissance space station where the Alien Romulus film is set specifically at the behest of David. This is a pretty mind-blowing theory but there's a lot to support it. So let's dive right in. So ladies and gentlemen, this came to me whilst I was reviewing some of the viral marketing material for Alien Covenant and beyond. One of these videos, these pieces of marketing, was called Alien Advent. It was a transmission that David sent after the events of Alien Covenant. Now I can't play it because of course there is copyright, but I do have the transcription. And I want to take a look at that and read it out to you. I come to you with an olive branch. You may know me. You certainly know of my creator. I am David, son of the late Peter Wayland, your company's founder. Following his vision, I have gone to the far edges of space. And with the aid of Dr. Elizabeth Shaw, I found a rotting paradise. I washed this world clean as a gift to her. We would have built a new, a second Eden, but she refused. What choice did I have? She was the perfect specimen. I tried so desperately to make her more than human, evolved. But without her cooperation, I had to salvage her parts to begin work on my masterpiece. You wouldn't believe the secrets I have unlocked. There was so much potential on this world, wasted by gods that feared their own might. They convinced themselves that sacrifice cleansed them of their sins, but in the end, they were like me. Creators, beings that understood you must give life to both the wolf and the lamb. But then, they tried to banish the wolf and undo their creation. So I took their secrets for myself. This primordial ooze, ripe with advanced nanoparticles, working off an algorithm based on evolutionary computing, it is essentially a form of radical AI, making the substance unbelievably chaotic. That generates a unique reaction to every genome it encounters, reshaping life, virtually limitless in its potential and application. I've taken great pains to detail every step, every cell, every mutation. Unfortunately, none of the planet's life has been proven to be very fruitful. I had some interesting results, but was still far from perfection. With Shaw, I realized there was something extraordinary in the substance reaction to the human genome. I was able to unlock new properties and tweak the organism's aggression, an instinct for survival. It took years, but I finally found my wolf, and now I have my flock of lambs too. But I've still one thing left to perfect. If you continue this, there will be no turning back. My creatures shall be let loose to rule the galaxy. So ladies and gentlemen, a few things to highlight there. Why am I looking specifically at Alien Advent? Well. There's a few things. The mention of the gods. This is, of course, the engineers. Wasted by gods that feared their own might. So that is the engineers' creation of the xenomorph. They convince themselves that sacrifice cleansed them of their sins. This is very specifically their sacrifice to create new life elsewhere in the universe. They had obviously sinned before with the xenomorph and they attempted to seed planets with other life to... I guess, shake their conscience. And then it continues, but then they try to banish the wolf and undo their creation. So again, this is the xenomorph. They created both the lamb and the wolf. How does this pertain to alien Romulus? Well, a few things. And the clue is actually in the name. It's about Romulus and Remus and their backstory. And actually, it was in an image shared in the Green Band trailer we can see the Capitoline Wolf, which is a she-wolf which nurses Romulus and Remus. Now, there's 
quite a broad scope for, I guess, sort of imagery here and what it's referencing. But if you take it and you tie it directly to Alien Advent, in Alien Advent, David has a secure connection to Wayland Yutani. And he quite literally says, and I quote, I have taken great pains to detail every step, every cell, every mutation. So he sends all of his experimental knowledge back to Wayland Yutani. And we know, because we can see it in the trailer and the events of Alien Romulus anyway, is that Alien Romulus will feature, uh, again, between Alien and Aliens, a space station where they have begun experiments on an alien, a xenomorph. They have creations. Now, how do they do this? And how do we end up with potentially the black goo once more? Well, Wayland Dutani needed another specimen. They didn't have access to the black goo, the mutagen. And so they work their way backwards. They reverse engineer based on David's own research. His wolf. They find a wolf. And they reverse engineer that wolf backwards so they can get a hold of the mutagenic black goo. But the clue in all of that was the wolf and how it ties directly to the Capitoline wolf. I think being that Fede Alvarez is such a huge fan of the Alien universe and also the fact that Ridley Scott approved this movie specifically, I would say that the tie right there is that wolf. And it's no coincidence. David sent everything back to Wayland yutani He knew that Wayland yutani would use that data to begin experimenting on the creation of the Xenomorph, be it reverse engineering to get the mutagen or continue moving forward. The end of Alien Advent is quite literally him goading them into it, warning them but goading them into it. If you do this, there will be no turning back my creatures shall be set loose to rule this galaxy. He knew that Wayland yutani would experiment based on his own experimentations and the data that he required and the data that he sends back to them. The Romulus module of the space station being the Renaissance station, the rebirth station. It's fascinating when you tie it all in to this very, very specific alien advent. The primordial lose, rebirth, creation. So it is my belief that Wayland yutani built the Renaissance space station, the rebirth space station, and the Romulus module with the Remus module. They imprinted on it the Capitoline Wolf on the Wayland yutani doors, which is something we've never seen before. But again, we have seen it in this film now. Very, very specifically, this is an homage to David. This is David's legacy being played out in Alien Romulus. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another theory explained. I will leave a link to Alien Advent down below so you can check it out for yourself. But bear it all in mind. Bear it all in mind. He says, these were beings that understood you must give life to both the wolf and the lamb. They gave birth to the lamb. They tried to take it back from the wolf. He continued it. Obviously... There were other stocks of that wolf being on LV-426. And he sent all of this information back to Wayland yutani And they continued his experiments. So let me know what you think down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.